What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. I'm Chris. That's Mike. We're into the Badlands once again, Mikey. What do you think about it? Another great episode. Didn't disappoint. No, this is uh, this is episode two of season three, Moonrise's Raven Seeks. Now, I know Moon, obviously, is Nathaniel, but which one is Raven? Uh, could we assume it's, it's Sunny? I mean... He's seeking what's MK? the most important thing. Is it MK? MK. I don't know. Wanted, that might be wanted, that, that might be like see. a stupid that might like that might you be know? like an obvious. Um, I don't know. That, <laughs> you know, I don't know. So if we're wrong, you guys let us know. Yeah, but, uh, I will say this though. I'm getting a real yeah. feeling of epicness. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just I'm really I'm really liking what's going on. I'm really enjoying all of the stories and where everybody is like to me it, it's all making sense it's it's cohesive you know so far it's like everyone's got their own thing um and 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 this episode we're gonna we're gonna kind of just talk about each of the each of the major players for this episode um in in the mix and everything so um uh you, you want to jump in you want to start with uh well, yeah i guess we'll start with um probably the mk moon well, um, well. Before we do that, I want I want to talk about Moon first. I want let's 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 okay. talk about Moon because there's a couple mm -hmm. things I wanted to talk about with him. All right. First of all, looking, looking, he's looking dapper as hell. All right, yes. he makes that shit look good. Um, I was never, to be honest, I was never a fan of that look of the widow's clippers, right? But, but then I guess because if you remember, uh, what's his name? Uh, Wally. What the heck was his name again? The guy with the white hair. Waldo. Waldo. I was say, I was gonna say, where's Waldo? He always wore that velour, like that that not velour, but I always picture like a velour like a jumpsuit, velvety, like that velvet yeah. jumpsuit, whatever jacket. And so, <laughs> seeing that again and seeing it on Moon is like, damn, pretty imposing. He gets his his hand, which they call uh, a mimic, right? Yeah, yeah. I guess just the uh, just the adjective for that device, that yeah. new. Um, extremity. It was, dude. It was fucking really sweet looking too, bro. It was. Uh, it was really sweet. I loved up on up on the wrist. It had it yeah. had the 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 plating, and it's like it was it was dope. And yeah. I, and I wondered how to, how it was gonna move. I wonder if it was gonna be articulating, or mm -hmm. if it was or if it was just gonna do. So like she said, you know, flex your fingers, and it'll it'll pop out the blade or shoot the dart or whatever. So I thought that was pretty cool, and he he figured it out pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, so yeah, we'll talk about that fight, but but I I just want to I want to go a little bit further into the episode, and I want to talk about Lydia because so he shows up with Lydia, and you know they know each other obviously, and I was like oh okay, and then you know when he brings her to the widow, he's like you know I offered you a way out, and I'm like wait hold on hold on does that mean that Moon did we know that was Moon a uh like like Quinn's regent before Sunny was that the deal? Um. <sighs> You know what? I I'll tell you the truth. I I don't know for sure. I don't I don't think <sighs> there's obviously a history between Lydia and and Moon and um everybody just seems to know one another from way back, you know. Well, um, I thought that was cool because he's like I offered you a way out. Now does that mean that she was were they involved in some way or or was it just that when he was like I'm going to be getting out of here, come with me? I because mean, that's, obviously, it, it could be either either one. It could have been the fact mm -hmm. that um, uh, Moon wasn't afraid to leave Quinn, yeah. and he was willing to take Lydia along with him, or he was just from some rival from somewhere some somewhere else, and, and he just and like yeah he cared for her or loved her or whatever, and said come to me. I, you know, um, that's a good question. Um, I, I may have missed it. I mean, I'm sure if you watch it again, they might have hinted because there was a lot of information being passed around this episode well not i don't mean in the, it would probably be when he meets sunny in in season two i don't think mm -hmm. it was in this episode but i'm leaning more towards because if he was if he was quinn's regent or a yeah. regent for somebody else and he knew that quinn was an a-hole it'd be like you know yeah he 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 there was whatever the relationship was he said to get her out and she was like yeah. oh well i couldn't um so i mean that's you know that's that's pretty that's pretty interesting. I love I love how the information's coming. Yeah. So, um, his fight with MK. Mm. Um, I'm I'm gonna say I really like where MK is. I you know you you said you, you don't do, like I think, him hooked up. <laughs> I mean I don't like seeing him all doped up like that. And uh, I mean there's there's um 
there's a resolution in the end after his uh, his um, uh, what's the word? He have his vision. He has a vision. Yeah, and he has his vision after he uh, ODs. Yeah. Um, and it's it's interesting with that, but you know the fight overall I thought was pretty badass. It shows the cockiness of um, of MK. Well, he hasn't learned anything. Old yeah, man he hasn't and... learned anything, and he thinks he's he thinks he's but he's a teenager, right? So he's t- he thinks he's tough shit. It's true, and and it also says, listen, it's it's funny when the widow says, you know, you got Moon says you have some good moves, and who trained you? And the widow's like, Sonny. You know, yeah, he got pissed. Like, oh, yeah. He got pissed. So, <laughs> it was he um, was holding back, and then he was like, "Nah, screw this. This kid's going down." But what was you know, what was cool about that fight and, the, and like the choreography and what like when Moon he fought differently, obviously because he's got a new accoutrement, right? Mm. And just just the 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 fighting with that before he even pulled the sword out was cool. Um. He did pull the sword out, didn't he? Yeah, he did pull the sword out. But I just thought it was cool. Like, he got that thing and he was like, oh, now, now, you know, I mean, yes, he was fighting with the other one with the, with the, with the rebar on it. But I felt like he must have been like, oh, this is, this is my shit. Like, this is good. Like, this feels good, you know? He, he utilized it well. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and it's sick, yep. man. Look, I'm a sucker for, for anything where that's got like a blade coming out. Like, it reminds me of like Robocop when he, in Robocop, um, uh, when he had the blade pop out of his, out of his uh, okay, fist, okay, and, okay. Um, you know, other anything like that. I'm just, a, I'm a big sucker for things like that. So that was really cool. Yeah, he gets yeah, his ass beat. Really cool. um, so the reason why I think it's cool that MK, as far as a, a story point or or character decision, is that I didn't see that coming. You know, we, where's MK? And we see he's locked up with the widow, but he's able to like he's sleeping with women. He's, you know what I mean? Like, I did not expect that. And that's like some, that's like something that you'd see like in a film where it's like, oh, look at this guy. He's like, he thinks he's hot shit and stuff. So it's just, think about it, man. She's got him locked up yet giving him all the, like, like all the, not freedom, so but just, he, she's giving him a little, little, uh, like perks almost yeah he's got all these perks yet he's still a prisoner and she's very candid with him she's like look mm-hmm. look we're trying to get your power back and until we do that you know and, and he's he foregoes his training but i just really enjoy where that character is i think it was a great character decision you know to put yeah. him there instead of being because guess what he's she still gets to be the bratty little mk but now he's a little bit older and he's doing it he's he's a little bit it's a little bit different now you know yeah. So I don't know. I, um, I thought it was cool. I, I enjoyed that. I enjoy where he's at. And and so going back to his uh his thing, do you think that Sonny really did so you think that was true? I think it is. I mean I, I, I feel that that would be interesting an interesting plot, especially since we know how close M you know, MK and Sonny are. Uh, it's gonna be um a real cool scene or scenes or several episodes when, when Sonny, yeah. um, they finally run into each other. Um, and I had said, maybe that's some, you know, maybe a situation or an altercation between the two, uh, Sonny and, and MK will, will possibly bring, um, Sonny's gift out. If in fact he has it. Well, you know, that, that's, 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 uh, that's something I want to talk about in a second, but let me ask you yeah. this. Do you, do you like when, uh, MK goes inside? inside of himself do you like that when he when he sees his inner self yeah i mean obviously he's gotten uh he's gotten some some uh remember the fight some, last season that was cool. yeah that was yeah sick. that was so sick last when he fought it's, and it's interesting yeah. that he was able to bring it out himself no matter what no matter what um the widow tried or well i think yeah i think it's interesting because that part of him was trying to save him now yeah. as opposed to last season when he was fighting it and you, you rooted like I was rooting for MK, you know, the normal MK as a po- when he's fighting the the gifted MK. But yeah. now I'm now I was like I was flipped and I was like, "Oh, he's trying to save him. He's like this can sa- this will save us, you know, if we bring in this back, but you know, you're keeping yeah, He's going to kill he's going to kill himself with the drug. It was the truth. You know? So it was like the truth that basically set him free. So yeah. Um, yeah. and as far as Sonny having the gift, he's like, "I know Val didn't have it." So there's our answer right there. 
last yeah. week we said, is it Vale or Sonny? And, and Lydia had that information right, right. there, too. Right. You know? She said, well, oh, we found well, you. you. Yeah, and when Quinn took you in, I, I think they said four months old, right? Four oh, months, maybe, of, yeah. I think four months of four years. One of the two. Maybe I remember four, the four. Yeah, I remember the four. In there, but either but way, just, young, yeah. very young, and um, and she also ooh. has information about what might might um save Henry with this mad witch. And Baji obviously knows of the mad. <laughs> Baji witch, knows and, all, man. I love, I love when they does. just turn. They just all turn to him, and he's just like, uh. But my one of my some of my favorite lines was when he was like, you know, well, why not? And he's like, one, she's mad. Two. She's a witch. Like, She's a witch. That's yeah. Nick Frost all the way. You know, like you're not gonna. He's got to mm-hmm. do those things. I thought that was pretty funny, but um, yeah. I mean, it's it's very. The show's very comic book like in that people they need info and they get the info. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's just it's just. I feel like they're hitting their stride. I feel like season one they were presenting the show and they were like, let's see what we could do with the show. We have this, these these really awesome ideas and what we want to do. We're going to make it a, a martial arts show on TV. It's going to be great. Story, you know, presenting the story. Season two yeah. had some really, I mean, the fighting in this has always been amazing, right? But the story for me in the middle of season two kind of waned a little bit. It was still real. I still really enjoyed it, but they kept it, you know, you know, they, they, I think they just kept it smaller and they had to focus on the Quinn stuff and, and really get, you know, but dude, um, the pacing, I've always enjoyed the pacing of this show. And I think they're really hitting a stride this season and with the pacing, you know what I mean? And, and well, it's action packed. And we, and we talked about, but that I don't just that, mean that. that. I mean, land. I mean, as we're getting the information as yeah. they, so they cleared up Quinn's story. Quinn wasn't a five season character arc you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. it ended last season and no they, I, I and agree. now they're moving forward and, and if, if we have a season season and a half worth of character arc or story arcs or whatever i, I like that idea you know yeah. yeah um you know and they're talking about the 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 story behind everything let's hop over to the convoy when you have nix and caster and pilgrim cressida um yeah. i want to say i love the setup of that convoy i love what they've done like in the middle of it and like you know, meaning meaning where they where he was like Cass was like sitting in the corner of that thing, but it's all like decked yeah. out and it's just on a truck. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> like a hollowed out truck. You know, and I thought yeah. that was just pretty cool. Yeah, um, no, it's it's we we we're getting some information and we're getting some questions. We're getting um, we're we're able to to um, kind of come up with our own new ideas. You know, with the information that we're getting now from Pilgrim and. Um, so we talked about it off camera. Yeah. Say it again. So tell me, tell me your thoughts on on Azra as as what we think it might be now. Well, Azra, I think is more of uh, after the episode is it's more of like a religion. It's more of because we always thought that it was um, a place. It was a place, and that's po- that's potentially where Pilgrim Crest and all these people came from. But um, now it seems like yeah, that's it, not it, the it's case. It's right? not, yeah. and I think. We got that from one of my favorite scenes, really. I mean, obviously, they arrive at this, they see this island, and, and Cressida speaks that um, uh, this is the first temple of Azra, the prophecy. This is just like what the prophecy says, and you're getting a lot of this cool stuff. But we find out it's it's an old mu- museum. Well, let me, museum or, right, let me stop you right there be, to, while we're on that point. I don't think it was a museum. Or at first, I didn't think. I mean... It did, looked mean, like it did have a gift shop, but it was I thought dinosaurs and I thought right, but I thought maybe because I thought maybe it was because Azur was a city. I thought maybe they were they they at the end of the world. Whatever happened to cause whatever apocalyptic thing that happened to these people, mm. right to that world, they brought it all to that one place. For some reason, that's what I thought. But then I saw them but then in the gift, make a gift shop. No, right. Yeah. Then I saw the gift shop, and I was like, oh, okay, I guess maybe it was just a museum. Yeah, I don't think – yeah, I think it was just a museum, and that's what I – I mean, the Viewmaster thing was really cool, that yeah. scene with Nix and, and Caster and how they're seeing – uh, all these different places, they're seeing the uh, Statue of Liberty and the Eiffel Tower. And getting back to my point is they see Azra as a physical – a city. futuristic futuristic future to us but for past us to them, but right, much yeah. yeah much uh in the past past for them so i just i like i liked seeing that and i liked in this in the in the last season when they were fighting you see the christmas decorations and stuff just getting a glimpse the um of the old yeah. world and um uh nicks nicks says um well 
Caster says, what happened to these people or, you know, the, the, the original people, these old, the old world. And she says, um, they ignored the signs of their own destruction. Pilgrim destru- says that they ignored the signs, right? She well, Ni- well Nick, yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, just, that's just interesting that. stuff. You know, that's just interesting to me. And uh, it's it's cool to see glimpses of the old world like that. Yeah, I think so. So Caster's sick. And uh, some, had some reason, yeah. So so that obviously was why he, he had that issue when they were fighting in episode one. He kind mm-hmm. of snapped out of it for a second. D- have we seen this sickness? I'm trying to remember all the stuff we saw with the abbots and at the and at that temple. I I, I don't think we've I seen feel like this is like all this. new stuff. So like we're learning about the gift. That's 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 what's so cool so far about this. It's only been two episodes. I feel like we've learned so much already. Yeah, we're getting a lot learning of about Azra. Learning last, about you know? the the gift. Yeah. Who has the gift? Mm-hmm. The gift isn't so mystical anymore. I mean, it it is still, but it's not such a mystery to us. I feel like we're getting yeah. there. We're getting more, more people have it. You know. Um, yeah, I agree. So when Cressida is speaking to Pilgrim, you know, uh, he mentions it to her, and he's like, "Well, look, you know, he, he mentioned that Caster's sick, and she says, look, we know, we know that the gifted don't live very long.' Yeah, now, that's something we didn't know." Well, that's, I guess cause that's, they, they, that's they, important they, information for us, you know? Oh, yeah, but what are you getting from that? You're getting that they physically don't live long because they fight so much they die? Or no, I took it they as... they just have a short lifespan. Yeah, I, I took it as it, they have a short lifespan it, because it's... Whatever this gift is, it must really? be it must be pulling from a life force. It must be pulling from their life force, the okay, life I force of their yeah, enemies. I didn't think of it that way. You know I, what I mean? You know, so makes sense. It makes sense. It's definitely... Um, you know, it's taking years off their life is what I, so what, what if, what if it yeah. was when we found, we find out that when you, every time you use a gift, you're like, you lose like six months or a month yeah. or a week or, yeah, you know see, what I mean? Yeah, it's possible. I, I thought it, I just, I took it as, I didn't think of it as deep, as deeply as that. I just thought of it as they're just constantly fine. Listen, you can still die if you're, if, oh, of you know, course. Yeah. So I just thought of it as because they fight so much, just the, the right, chance. Right, because they're maniacs. That's are, what they're going to yeah. do, right? Yeah. Chances are what, that uh, they'll get killed uh, one day or next, you know? What about when she says uh, they're searching for the catalyst that called them? Now, is that Beiji? Yeah, Beiji is the Beiji's one that called the cat- them. So, they, so Beiji's considered the catalyst because he's the one that called them. And, and he, had the, he had the compass first. Yeah. When he called them also. Yeah. Um, well, no, he didn't. He to... take that. He took that one. He took it from the from the uh, either from Sunny or the temple or he t- the master. He t- yeah, he took it, but he Sunny has it back now. Didn't he give it to Sun? Didn't Sunny give it? No, to him? Sunny took it from him in the first episode when they were oh, yeah. when they were fighting. Uh, the guys, you know, when when Baju was swindling the guys at the right. At the game or whatever. Oh yeah, that's how Sonny got it back. But yeah, um, because I think he gave it to him when they were when they were fleeing last season. I think he gave it to him when he had his MK was with him, and I think he gave it to him. I think he took. Oh, he he took it. it. No, he He took. He snuck it it from the master. All right. Anyway, um, what what the hell is up with that that sick display? Um, with Cressida and Pilgrim at the end when he hooks her, he puts the hooks in her back. Like I wasn't expecting that. That was insane. Like, well, she, she, it's, it's obviously some kind of, um, it's a ritual some kind of, to, yeah, some kind of ceremony open to open up her third eye or something so she can, yeah, it's, um, it's, they, they said it's an offering. Uh, Cressida says right, we need yeah. to offer. So I guess the offering is her just being strung up like that. Um, but it allows yeah. her, she's like, he says, what do you see? And she says, everything, you know, so everything. Like, what is that? What does that mean? You know what I mean? Like, so, uh, I, I'm, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> here's the we'll other see. thing. Here's another question for you. So, um, Cressida basically, if it, it seems like she raised Pilgrim, right? And and she yeah. helped him come into his power, but mm-hmm. he doesn't have the gift. So, what no. power does it does does she mean power over like dominion power, or does she mean like power as in something similar to the gift? Because he's he's a skilled fighter, obviously. Yeah, you know what well, I mean. He, he has some kind of listen. He, he fought off four guys, three or four guys. Right. So is that just training, or is that, or is it a, is it a, is it a I don't power think with it's a capital a P? You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't think it's necessarily um, anything with that capital P power. I just think that he's a special kind of fighter, like it's like Sunny, like special, Moon, special boy. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can have, you They're can just, have. He's just, in, he's just. We just move him over to the badass category. 
Yeah. yeah. I, I, and I think that's what it was. I mean, and she tells, she tells, um, Pilgrim, she's like, you know, you have to, you have to have faith in me and you have to, and you have to believe in this. And, yeah. um, yeah, it was, it was definitely, I mean, dude, the, the scene where they were putting the hooks in her back were fucking, it was pretty badass too. So. That was, I was like that. I didn't expect that to happen. Mm-mm. So now do you think Pilgrim's going to fight moon and who would win? <sighs> well, that's, that's, that's going to be tough. I think it would be a great fight. We haven't um, seen Pilgrim fight with any weapons yet. And we know that moon He's a martial artist, but he's also a weapons master. So yeah. and now he's got that dope ass hand. So we well, don't let's, know. See, let's see who he bumps into first. I think I think. Yeah, dude, when he walked. So so, you know, kind of wrapping up here, just a couple of cool things. When he walked into that the camp mm. and Sonny's like, oh, shit. And I was like, I was like, oh, shit. I was like, are they, are they going to go down? Are they, is it going to go down now? And yeah. then, um, you know, well, thanks for thanks for um, Tilda. Yeah, 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 that was cool. Loved yeah. how that scene went down. I would have loved to see a fight, but I think it would have been, if they did fight, it would have, it would have. I mean, I think it would have been too soon to see that, and yeah, also it would have been yeah. like, oh, okay, another scene where they're just gonna fight. No, no, they did it in a way that was like, oh, that, oh. <laughs> that shows that yeah, they put you on the edge of your seat because they 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 want you to to think that Telling they're that's gonna what do that. I like, I'm just, I'm it's really, gonna, it, it's gonna be a big, it's gonna be a good fight when they when they fight again. That's why they specifically didn't have them go down. You know, yeah. To, oh like, yeah, I think that might happen. Bad. I think that's gonna probably happen somewhere in the middle. I don't yeah. think that's gonna be an end thing. I think the Pilgrim stuff might be the end stuff. You think so? Oh, the Pilgrims. Yeah. Oh, oh, Pilgrim. Yeah, Pilgrim yeah, and yeah, Sunny or over, Pilgrim yeah. Yeah, and Moon and Sunny. That's going to be a thing. Yeah. yeah. I I think you know I don't know where this is going to go, but it may end up that you know the Pilgrim and the as the Azraites or whatever you want to call them. The, I think they call them the Acolytes, right? Well, Acolyte. No, no, but I'm naming them from for Azra is what I'm saying. Oh, the Azra oh, Aqu- oh, oh. Aqua Aqua. No, Aqu- oh my God, Acolytes. Whatever. Azra Acolytes. <laughs> Yeah. I think it might end up being like you said, if they're if they're the one that everyone yeah, they they might be having to team up like Moon and Beji and Sunny and the Widow. They might have to do because the Widow has no idea what's going. That and again, just to wrap it up with what I'm saying, I I love that everybody's doing their own thing. The Widow's working with Moon to do this one thing. Sunny's working to do this one thing. The Widow is is working with, you know, I, I said, you know, with Moon, but also with, with MK and trying to get that. Lydia is just trying to survive, but now finds herself embroiled in in whatever's going on with Sonny and now with the widow. And it's like I mean, she's offered a position. I just I just love I love where this is going. It all makes sense. It's it, it's yeah. all it's 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 interesting. It's it's uh I don't know what you know it's not predictable. Um you know and, and I guess I'm still jaded from coming off of season you know eight of the Walking Dead. But, you know, it's just, it's nice. It's nice to, to see this stuff. And, um, yeah, yeah, definitely. I don't definitely. know. It was great. It was good. Great episode. Yep. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the next. I mean, like I said, uh, I mean, you summed it up quite well as far as what everybody has their own mission um, until they, f- they all realize what the new mission is going to be. And that's going to be these pilgrim and this crescent of people and this yeah. mix. And, and, and that's, I think that's going to take the cake and that might stop um certain agendas don't from forget characters to ha- you know from happening we haven't yeah. even seen chow yet and we're supposed to see chow and chow's brother we haven't seen who... chow we haven't seen waldo you know waldo yeah so uh, i mean we you know we we you know we still have a lot it's i'm look i'm excited it's yeah. it's it's yeah, a, it's, a, it's it's a fun show so with that i think we'll end this this video uh you know once again guys thank you so much for watching absolutely absolutely get those comments in below of course let us know if we were off on some of the stuff if we're on on some of the stuff your ideas your theories what you think may happen uh in in the future episodes of of uh badlands also check us out on third person pod on instagram and on facebook and don't forget to have a listen to us on itunes yep So thank you very much, guys. We'll see you on the next Into the Badlands video. Peace out. Peace.